Fellow problem solvers, this is the last one for this topic. How to calculate the rule for any pattern, or in this case, linear sequences. Stay tuned, share, like, and subscribe. Enjoy. Good day, fellow problem solvers. Hope you are doing very well. So let's look at numeric patterns calculating rules for patterns. Okay, so remember, we started off with having the rule and then knowing and understanding what the pattern is. But today, we are starting off with the pattern and then we need to calculate the rule, like from 10, 8, 6 and 4, right? So how does it continue? Which formula can we write down to give us the rest of the pattern as well? So this is important to understand these values, like with example 1, 10, 8, 6 and 4, those are our input values. Those are also term values, right? For the first term it's 10, for the second term it's 8, for the third term it's 6, for the fourth term it's 4. Those numbers, 1, 2, 3 and 4, we call n. n is equal to that, so that's like a counting number. That will be our input values, and the 10, the 8, the 6 and the 4 will be our output values for the corresponding input values. Okay, so how do we look at this? And this is the general formula I want to give to you. Tn equals A times N plus B. Now remember, this is the general formula for a linear pattern. Very important. Not for geometric, for linear. Okay, and you'll see the A and the B are constants. Those will be numbers, right? And N is our input value, just like with the X of the previous one. And T in our output value. So A in this case represents our constant difference. Very important. You just need to look out for what the constant difference is. That's the way you need to start. Then with B, that will be our correction value. I'll explain that more in detail as we go along. Like how do we correct to have the term value that we need to get? Like for instance for term 1 it's 10. Constant difference here is negative 2. You can see there from 10 to 8, negative 2. 8 to 6, negative 2. 6 to 4, negative 2. So that means Tn is equal to what? Negative 2 times N plus B. Now remember, B needs to correct the term so that we can have the value. That's the easy way to, um, to do this. So that's if we need the term value. So let's take term 1 and then I'll show you exactly how this works. So 10 is the term value, so we put it where the Tn is. And then the N is the term number. That means it's the first term, it's 1. So then we say plus B. Okay, so now I've got 10 equals negative 2 times 1 plus B. So that means 10 is equal to negative 2 plus B. So what should B be equal to so that the right hand side of the equal to sign will be equal to 10? Because 10 is equal to negative 2 plus what? We need to add a number of 12 so that we can actually have the 10 on the right hand side, the left hand side, my apologies. So our formula here is Tn equals to negative 2 times n plus 12. I'll write that in in a moment. Um, <clears throat> and now I would like to test this with term 3. You see I've encircled already term 3. So let's test it, just for our interest sake and understanding. So if we put in a 3 at n, then it's negative 2 times 3 plus 12. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6 plus 12, and we get a final answer of 6. Does that correspond with our uh, numeric pattern? Yes, term 3 is equal to 6, therefore we're very happy, right? Example 2, we go from 4 to 11 to 18 to 25. So let's first of all see, do we have a constant difference? From 4 to 11, it's 7. From 7 to 18, we've add 7. 18 to 25, we add 7. That does mean we've got a constant difference. So that means we've got the value for A. So Tn is equal to 7 times N plus B. Remember, now we need to test to see what B should be so we can get the first term. First term's value is 4. And then the term number is 1. So what should B be equal to in order for us to get a 4 on the left hand side? So you can see 7 plus or minus, what should it give us 4? 7 minus 
3, very important. So our B value will be a negative 3. As always, let's just quickly test, but let's write down the formula first. So Tn is equal to 7n plus, um, my apologies, minus 3, right? So let's test it by using the third term again, just like we did with the for example 1. So 18 was the third term's value. Remember, the third term n will be equal to 3. So let's see. If we put in a 3 at n, what value do we get? So 7 times 3 minus 3. What is 7 times 3? 21, right? 21 minus 3 is equal to 18. Do we have the value? Yes, we do. Thank you for staying tuned. Enjoy your day and do maths.